All right, I wanted to do like a, a whole video really quick because I've been buying a bunch of shit online the past like two weeks. All right, so let's get right on to it. So the first two things I bought was Japanese PS2 games. Hold up, let me move my screen over here. I bought the Donpachi Daiojo for the PS2. Japanese, I don't have a Japanese PS2, but uh, it's just so sick to have. Shoot, shoot em up game. Just the inside. A lot of these uh, PS2 games from Japan come with like two discs. It's usually like uh, like the regular game itself and then a special DVD, which I never get to watch. I could probably just watch them on YouTube. Two ways to take out this manual, but this like a unfolding manual. It's not like a booklet. It's like an unfolding one, and I think the back has like a poster in it. This is the first one. Oh shit, I dropped it too. The second PS2 game I got is Mushihime Sama. I wish there was a way I could show this without glare. This is like in like a uh, some plastic. I mean, I could take it. I took it off before just so I could see the inside, but I'm too lazy to take it off again. But uh, another shoot 'em up, Japanese shoot 'em up. I have this on PC already. I just want to focus. That's all right. I should take this out of the plastic. But yeah, two games with like such sick artwork. I have both of these games on main, and they run pretty well, pretty smoothly. Let me get my other stuff. Let's go for something smaller. When I got this in the mail, I was like, what is, what is this? It feels like there's nothing in it. But when I opened it up, I was like, oh, okay, I remember ordering these. They're stickers. You got a Marvel vs. Capcom 2 sticker. And they're like, they're shiny, like you can't really tell, but they're pretty shiny. So yeah, you can kind of see it when they do it like this. Yeah, there you go. It reminds me of like those old stickers that you buy off like these um, 50 cent machines. I got Alpha 3 also. Two really good games I really enjoy playing. Alpha 3 I'm decent at, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty okay at Alpha 3. Marvel 2 I only know infinites, like my strategy with this game is kind of just like try to hit the infinite. My biggest struggle with with this game is like execution, like trying to get those tri dashes down. I don't know if it's me or or what, but you, you gotta hit those two attack buttons like like within one frame. It seems like, but yeah. Alpha three, Marvel two. The thing is, I gotta figure out where I want to put these. I was thinking about putting on my um my blender bottle, but where can I should I put it? Okay. I was gonna play like this, but now actually no, that would be cool. But I gotta put on a spot where this logo isn't here. And I, I tried scratching this off a little bit, it doesn't really work. Probably put it like this. Ah, whatever. I'll find some place to put it. It's like I have all these stickers, but I never know where to put them, so I just put them in my drawer, right? And they just never get used, ever. Another thing I got was from Amazon. This is the Daigo the Beast Umehara Fighting Gamers. This is the third vol- I believe this volume, right? The third volume. I have the first- I'm, I'm still reading them, like I, ha I haven't finished the first one either. This is the first one which I got like some years ago maybe, but I'm almost finished. I'm this deep in. This is a bookmark I use. Goku Black. It's time for a new uh, webcam. Because this one doesn't autofocus like fast enough. Yeah, this doesn't autofocus fast enough. 
than I'd like it to be. Maybe I could hook up my uh, one of my cameras. At least my, my Sony A6000, because that one I, I barely use these days. It's been like years since I've used them. Yeah, an another thing I got. This one actually just I, I just got this like a few minutes ago. Racing Lagoon. I should definitely take the plastic off, but I don't wanna. But yeah, this is um. It even says it on the booklet itself. It says high speed racing RPG, high speed driving RPG, Japanese only PS1 game. It's pretty sick. It's it was created by Square. Was it Square Enix at the time? Oh, it's SquareSoft. That's that's how you know it's a classic when it says SquareSoft. Racing Lagoon, you can't really see it because it's a plastic and I'm too lazy to take it off and I'm an asshole. Really good game. I've streamed it once maybe and the dude who did the fan translation of it stopped by and he was, he was like watching me play. It was so sick. I have so many like Japanese games now. Another thing that just came in today. I was gonna say, let me try not to dock myself, but I'm not gonna post this shit. Alright, I'm gonna post it in secret. I know what this is. Oh, yes, it is what I thought it was. This sure looks so. Oh, this actually looks cool. Like, when you see it, when you see it like this, it's like, oh, wow. Okay, that's. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. We gotta show the full thing. We gotta show the full thing. This is a Machine Girl shirt. I, I bought this so randomly. Like, I'm not like an extreme Machine Girl fan, but this album is so sick. It's called Wolf Girl. Very fudging sick. The Japanese on it says uh, Machine Girl in Katakana. I can't read the kanji part. I also don't have my glasses, so I can't read the rest. I wonder if this would fit me, right? Ah, yes, it's big enough to fit me. I get scared of. See this? I got on Etsy. I get scared of like buying like clothes online because sizes from different stores differ so greatly. Okay, I bought it in a large. Okay, that's good. Because usually I, I wear a size small. Like this, when I go to Uniqlo, this is a small. Small fits me, but uh, if, I, if I were to get a small like on something like Etsy, oh my goodness, it would fit like, like a child's shirt. Even mediums are tight on me on like other stores. So to be safe, I'm gonna start buying, start buying medium. No, start buying large from all these stores. One more time. And now for the last three things I got, I got a bunch of um jerseys. A bunch of uh, Knicks jerseys. This the first one. These are the 2022-2023 jerseys. And like, it's kind of grown on me like how the Knicks go for like black and orange. And blue of course. Number 4 for d Rose. Also, I don't know if I'm ever going to post this, but I hate you, EG, for getting me to Well, you didn't get me to buy these, but like, you definitely like motivated me to get these. Because when you posted them, I was like, wow, these look so sick. I wanted the 2021-2022 the jerseys, but this is just as cool. I just like how like the... I mean, I do have a 2021 jersey over there. But I like how like the New York... I can't remember if it was like a New York logo, New York City Nike logo or just the Nike logo itself, but it was like holographic looking. I bought this in a medium, I think, right? If I were to buy another one, this is men's medium. I think the next time I'll get a large, because this just fits me. I didn't, I didn't buy the 2022, uh... Shorts. 2022, 2023, but I did buy the 2021. See, like it has like that logo, and it's kind of like it's hard to tell 
I don't know how I could get it to show, but this has like a like a kind of pearl effect, you know? Like when you move it into light, it has like different colors. It has the next colors. It doesn't say next anywhere except for this top part. This is sick. Um, I'd probably get a medium next time. This is a small. This this does fit me. But it's kind of small. It fits just well, but I do like baggy uh, baggy basketball shorts. And then lastly, this this what I always wanted. I don't know why I didn't get it the first time. I think I was just being cheap, you know. Yeah, number nine. This might look different. I mean, of course, it looks different than the other jersey I have. But like, the biggest difference is like the smaller letters and uh, font. The reason for that is because this is actually a youth, youth XL. Yeah, youth XL size. Because all of these, all the regular like men sizes, were sold out. So they have like the were like youth large, youth XL. Surprisingly, this actually fits me pretty well. The only thing is, like, I guess, since this is Youth XL, they made it for, like, for a bigger chest person, so this thing kind of sticks out a bit. When I wear it, it looks like this, instead of, like, pumped out, if that makes sense. Number 9, Barrett. Ah, even the back is cool. This thing also is, like, kind of holographic, but you can't really tell. I don't know when I'm ever gonna wear these. Sometimes I just wear it. Like I got these, I think, yesterday or two days ago. I got it like during the morning and then I had to go straight to work. So I got to look at it a little bit and then when I got home I just put them on and I just like walked around my house with them. Oh yeah, these are sick. Boy, that's everything I got. Um I have a few more things coming in. I wish they came in today so I could show everything I got today. Let's see what I got. I got the two PS2 games, the PS1 game, so that's three things. The three jerseys, so that's six. Uh, Wolf, Girl sh Wolf Girl shirt, seven. The stickers, eight and nine. And then ten is the Daigo book. I have two more things coming in. Oh man, I can't wait to show those. Actually, what's the other one I got? I know one of them I got. And I can't wait to show that one. I can't remember what the other one was. Oh no no no, I do remember what it is. It's okay. It's a shirt. But anyways, yo, let's go next. Um I don't know if I'm gonna post this. No no, I'm gonna post this in secret and then maybe share it with people. Cause I make a lot of these videos. People don't know. I make a lot of these videos, but I don't post them anywhere. I think like at most like I, I watch them a few times and I'm like, I'm gonna delete this shit. But yeah, I'm gonna post this in a little bit. Peace out. Alright, I'm an asshole. Cause like, I, I made the whole video, but I did not show how like the clothes look on me, which is probably like a, the most important thing to do, you know? So here we go. I changed really quick. I have the... Machine girl, wolf girl, it fits perfectly. This is a Gildan tee, and usually they feel like rough and disgusting, but this one actually fits pretty well, it feels good. Nothing on the back, everything's on the front. Alright, uh, here's here's another one, I'm wearing the D-Rose jersey. This actually looks really cool, shit. This looks pretty cool. Number four, Derek Rose. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of like the high key jerseys, like the black and purple. Black and purple. What am I talking about? The black and orange. It looks. I I, I really like how it looks. I look like I'm part of the team. I don't even play basketball like that. I still have all the tags on. I have like this uh, bad habit of just not taking off tags because I'm like, maybe one day I'll return this, but I'm not gonna return this shit.
All right, next up we got the Barrett jersey, RG Barrett. This is in a uh, Youth XL. It fits uh, slightly like more spacier than the men's medium. 